uh, Chow sure. Jin yes. uh, from the University of Aberdeen talking about symbol GAN. So let's give him a round of applause. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, my name is Chao Zheng. I'm a PhD student from the uh, University of Aberdeen. Uh, my topic today is uh, symbol GAN. So if you want to ask what is symbol means, so take a look at this picture. Uh, what do you see from this picture? Most people say, oh, my friend, so there's a, there's a guy that wants to trick this, this guy who is in sleep. Right? This is his interpretation. interpretation. But uh, I want to ask you, ask you a question. Uh, how, how how will you think? Why 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 motivate you to think like that? So, th some people say maybe the tip of the pen is is the hand, and this part is the head. So uh, when you think like this, this is the symbol. So um, so we we try to bring back the uh, star of the past uh, to the modern uh, technique of again. So we want to combine them together. Let's see what's happened. So the problem. So why do we need the symbol gun? So uh, again, draws a lot, of, um, a massive uh, achievement in the uh, uh, many kind of tasks like the fi uh, face generations. Uh, but but it's it's not an easy task task for all kinds of data sets. For example, the cat the cat data set is really hard. Because of the post, uh, there are too many, too many variables in the post and the very, a lot of occlusions. But for the, for the face, imagine that the, the celebrity data set, you always have a, a straight face looking into, cam into the camera. So the, the, the attributes of your face that doesn't change too much. Uh, but the cat is different. So if you, if you take a look at these several, several images, so you've, you have the, the legs in the middle of the air, but it, connect, it, it cannot, cannot connect to the, the body. And you have a chunk of cat with... I, I can understand why the guys think this is a good picture of the cat, because they have the texture of, of cats. They have every, every attribute of the cat, but it doesn't have the correct structure, structure isn't it? So but for, the, for the human kids, Without any training or uh, exp uh, practice, you can uh, she or he can easily draw the picture like this. Uh, even they, it, it doesn't has a structure texture of uh, a pop, proper cat. It does, it does have the correct uh, symbols like the, the tail, the uh, the legs that connect to the body correctly, and they have the face that look into you, it's maybe you're into your soul or. So I want to ask, uh, we, we think, can we uh, combine the uh, advantage of the GAN and the advantage of the symbols? So the, what does symbol mean? So there are several levels of symbols. The first of the level maybe is the core, the core structure symbols, like the body parts. Uh, so if you look at me, if I trunk my arms, arms away, so it, it, it could be the, the symbol of the uh, lower arms and this is the symbol of upper arm and I wrote it in, uh, in any angles so that the, the parts that doesn't really change too much but my post really change a lot right? another level of symbol is the uh, fine grain structure like the gradients of, or the uh, uh, contours for example the eyes and the nose and the partially symbols on the segment, segmentation maps. So this is most of the uh, most uh, frequent uh, uh, condition we, we use in the, in the conditional gun. So let's look at some existing works. So this is from the Deco paper, the paper of Deco. He, he used the, con the, the contour of the human face uh, as, the, as the input, and also he, 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 po he posts the greeting information in, uh, along with uh, the, the contour map. So what he does, he can ch move the, the eyebrow up, up and down and shrink the chin a little bit, so this is the, the result he gets. You can also play with the demo on, online, you can always find that. And also the Gauguin, we, we saw this a few, few, few minutes ago. So we have a different, different colors represent different objects. So the brown color is the mountain and the, the green one is grass, right? So this is the one uh, uh, post guided to person image generation in uh, NIP 2017, and he used uh, uh, 
uh, key points, body key points as as the condition of the bo of the body, and they use the conditional image, this condition as a fashion uh, to indicate the fashion. But we can see the. Uh, there's some pro some some problem with the uh, generation the, the results because the uh, uh, the simply because this pose I've never seen in the dataset before this pose so you know th this this one is from the deep fashion dataset deep fashion is all most of the picture in the deep fashion is, uh, is is people look stand like this straightforward to the to the uh, camera but they don't have a variety of like like this so. Uh, uh, me and my supervisor did a little bit experiment on his very talented daughter, and then we asked her to, to draw an image of this lady. So take a look at what he, what's she done here, okay? And first, she, she draw the biggest chunk of the, of the image, which is the, 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 the red part. And next, he draw the legs <coughs> here. And certainly, he pinned the, the, the occluded legs. So, um, so we can notice that people don't have to uh, to be trained to be uh, to, to draw the correct structures. So, you, and also uh, when when, go, when when little kids uh, draw the picture, he understands the structure of legs, which part connect to which parts, right? And also he he draw the the parts uh, one part at a time. So uh, I, I don't know if you, uh, if you guys are curious about this, but um, for the GANs, when you update your uh, your model uh, every iteration, each pixel updates simultaneously. So I don't think this is um, a good way to deal with the occlusion because uh, sometimes you don't even have to, and sometimes the uh, the occlusion is too hard to describe in the distribution. And also a trained artist uh, when he draw the fashion. Uh, pictures or fashion designs. He always start from very basic, basic shimp, uh, shapes like the ellipses and the uh, contours, and then he, he paint the other parts on on uh, on the uh, uh, pose so that he ha uh, no matter what what, po what fashion he, he wants, he, do he al the model always has the correct uh, structure. And also this image from the kid painting books, and the uh, so the, the the guidebook always start from with several simple uh, shapes to indicate the basic structure. Uh, basic structure. Look, at, especially for look at this cat. This draws some two uh, two circles to represent the powers of the cat, but there are two powers. There's supposed to be two powers in, in behind, but he didn't didn't draw this. That means it's occluded by the, by, the, by the body, right? So if our problem has symbolic guide shapes and the contours, so we could uh, edit by, uh, by, uh, by manipulating the uh, at the symbol level. It's like uh, image editing, but rather than pixel level, it's it's monitoring the in, uh, symbols and uh, produce the input outside of training distribution. Like the, 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 the example I just showed you before. So each part is the inside of the. the this distribution, but you, if you rotate a little bit, it's, it's never seen before for, for the training. It's also trained with less data sets. So if you only train train a small, uh, train in a very small chunk of pixel, that but that pixel only represent one symbol, or one particular symbol. That's uh, that you you don't need to, too much uh, uh, data to, to represent too many varieties. So I will show you the uh, in the later. So for the vision for the future, if you have the input of the photo and you convert to the symbolic representation, and you edit that a little bit, and have your uh, the, the, the real the, the synthesized image will uh, be modified uh, correspondingly. And one more thing, this could be the most interesting, uh, exciting thing, is that you can project some structure on other objects onto, uh, within different uh, categories. So people have. Over, very powerful analogy ability. When you look at this mountain, the uh, the classifier of the uh, traditional uh, traditional CN will tell you this is just a mountain. But people can see, people can clearly see there is a head in, uh, hiding in, in 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 the mountain, right? And also the scope in the middle of carrots. So uh, this uh, we call this very 
it's not the uh, traditional way of uh, style transfer. So you know the real style, style transfer, like the most um, famous one, the, for example, the cycle gun. You have a cycle consistent between two categories, but you cannot ca find the cycle consistency between a scoping and the carrot. But locally, look at the locally, if you have the, uh, the claw and the, the small section of the uh, scoping, it can be a, a carrot, but if you render that as a at the super ellipses. And they also uh, hand made, made of icework. But this also came from the, some advertisement, maybe. And also the <laughs> kidney project on broccoli. Uh, they have a shape of, bro uh, shape of kidney, but uh, the texture of the, the, uh, the broccoli. And the, uh, the, the data set I'm using recurrently is also the deep fashion. Because uh, this is the most clear data set, on the, it doesn't have too much variety, and we can test if if our model can be var be various to the uh, different poses. Right? So if you have the uh, the, the people waving hands to you, and then you 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 perform the uh, style transform locally, and you can get the uh, the made of uh, leaves. And if you train the the people, for, you you, tra start, you transfer from the, the the body limbs to the trunks. Maybe you can get Groot. Uh, so it's uh, it, it, it's just like the global global guy and the local guy. The locally, locally, it's if you if you look at the silhouette of this small small man, okay, of the Groot, it that definitely looks like a person. But if you have the locally, it, it looks like looks like branch, branch. Sorry, and also the most famous, the, the hardest one. Maybe we we cannot get this get this part yet. The technology haven't get this part yet. It's a surrealistic uh, painting. But you can imagine. You can you can you can clearly see this is the head, right? The back of your head. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, how, how the symbol game works? So uh, there are two parts. So uh, the, the pipeline has two parts. One of, the first part is uh, uh, for local symbol generators. And the second, the second one is the fusion network for the uh, local symbol generators. So we have, uh, uh, so first of all, we, this is a picture of the uh, deep fashion data sets. And then we use the open pose to extract the key points of the body. And then we use uh, and, uh, and then we create a super ellipse according to the to the uh, uh, between, uh, between the the key points. And uh, let's say we focus on the lower lower left legs. So, and we, we create a mask of the legs. And then we rotate that. So where we rotate that? So we originally we so this is a problem of the CN. CN cannot do can, can, cannot deal with <coughs> rotation. Uh, so people propose the. Uh, ST networks, spatial transform networks. Uh, the idea of still spatial transform network is they train the network to understand the affine transform matrix. Uh, but here we already know the, the, the rotation matrix because we have the, the, the key points. So we just rotate back. And uh, we, we, we send the, we concatenate uh, the input image and the uh, target image channel wise and send it to the unit. And uh, get the generated image, and we, we inverse the, the, the rotation matrix. And the fusion network, uh, we have uh, after we generate each symbol parts, uh, we could, we we could cut them. Uh, we just put them in the mounting points. Let's say for the for the for the legs, they have the uh, heel points and the knee points, and, uh, and the mounting them together. And there, there, there are few few elements left in the background, so we use the fusion networks uh, to uh, imprint the, the missing parts. So this is our simple game pipelines. Uh, but the, the develop the the, pro, the the program is still in development because of the uh, uh, the usage of G, of our GPU. It's very competitive. We, we need to uh, within the in Q2 um, to to use it. So uh, it's quite well. Also, uh, this is some data set, some result from the uh, master students' um, uh, project works. Uh, so it's uh, training on the uh, cat 
uh, image data sets, but uh, it's, only, it's a six, 64 by 64 image, and uh, they have the, he extracts the, the, the facial landmarks of the, the, the cats, and he trained the pix to pix generation. But this one, he, he doesn't use the, uh, he didn't use the, uh, the, the pipeline I, I proposed earlier, but we can see how, how, how the symbols influence the generation. So he, this one, he moves the eyes uh, to the bottom of the, the head, so the, the symbol looks like this. And also uh, he can reshape, uh, so he can shear or uh, elongate the eyes like this. And the, the eyes look like uh, a Asia kite. Uh, so uh, if you zoom in, it's like, like this one, right? Uh, so uh, thanks. Uh, Thanks for listening. Thank you.